Today we're installing the Innova Bluetooth LED light strip. Included in this kit are your mounting supplies, the light strip itself, your power supply with fuse, and your Bluetooth control box. To do this, we're going to need crimping tool and an Android or Apple iOS device. Now let's get started. Before we begin, I want to tell you about the Bluetooth control box. It plugs into your LED light strip. It also runs to your batteries. This needs to be in a safe, inconspicuous location for a nice clean install. I want you to do a dry run. So first thing you're going to do is unspool the strip from the packing spool. Lay it out around the cart and make sure that where it plugs into the control box is nice and clean. For this application, we're going to install our light strip inside the 84 inch top. So we're going to take our control box and we're going to place it on top of our front bracket that holds our struts to our canopy. Then we're going to unspool our strip. We're going to start our strip near our plug-in for our control box and run our strip around the inside of the canopy before we pull off the backing tape to make sure this is exactly where we want it. You may have some excess strip that you wish to remove. You'll notice about every two inches, there's a cut line with a scissor icon. We highly recommend that you wait until after you permanently attach the strip before cutting. Remember, cut from the dead end back. Now that we've confirmed the layout of our LED strip, we're gonna attach our Bluetooth control box to the top of the front bracket here. Regardless of where you're installing your strip, whether it's underneath the cart or inside the canopy, make sure the control box is secured in a safe location. We're gonna use Velcro and stick it to the bottom of our control box and then stick it to the top of the bracket. Now we're gonna attach our LED strip to our control box. You'll also notice that we've added a clamp to the rear of the top to help support the weight of the LED strip. At this point, you wanna clean the surface area with alcohol before installing the strip. Now we're ready to install our strip. What you're gonna do is pull eight to 10 inches of the backer off at a time as you're applying the strip to your surface. Using the supplied anchors, attach them to the strip every two to three feet for additional support. Continue this same process until your strip is fully laid out. We also recommend installing zip ties along with the strip if you're installing this under the cart. Go ahead and double check your work to make sure that your LED strip is adhering well to the surface. Now that your strip's attached, you can trim off any excess as needed. We're gonna attach our control box using a zip tie. Depending on where you mounted your control box, you may have to run new wire. Since we did ours at the front, we're gonna to need to measure new 20 gauge wire from the front strut to the battery box. Now that we have our wire cut, we're going to feed it down through the strut and then attach it to the control box. We have some extra wire from the control box, so we're going to trim this back a little bit and then secure the harness with a zip tie. Now we're going to connect the new wire to the control box. Regardless of your power source, you need to install the inline fuse that's supplied with your kit.
If you're installing this LED light strip on a 6 volt battery pack, 12 volt battery pack, or a 12 volt gas cart, go ahead and attach the supplied ring terminals to your power wires. Then use a multimeter to find 12 volts and attach your ring terminals. However, if you're installing this strip on an 8 volt battery pack system, you will need a 1230 DC to DC converter. Click the link below for help installing the power wires to the converter. Due to the low amperage draw of the LED strip, a 16 to 12 volt reducer will not give you the proper 12 volts needed. This is why we recommend a 1230 DC to DC converter. Your LED strip works off of a free downloadable app called Happy Lighting. You can download this from the Android or Apple iOS app store. Once your app is installed, back out of the app and go to your Bluetooth settings. Find the proper Bluetooth ID and pair the device. Now we're going to go back to our app. Then you're going to hit the menu icon in the top left corner. And then to the right of my device, hit the arrow. And then you're going to hit the Bluetooth ID to pair the Bluetooth device with the app. You can now use your Happy Lighting app and change your colors. In the music icon, you can play music that you've downloaded through your device's music store and the LED strip will respond to the rhythm of the music. And there's also numerous other settings for you to explore, like the optional advanced color spectrum. And if your device is not connected to your key switch, simply go back to the main menu and turn your device off. The Happy Lighting app may not appear on some Android device marketplaces. What you need to do is go to your apps, settings, security, then you will need to enable the unknown sources, click OK, back out, go back into your marketplace and search again for the Happy Lighting app. It should now appear in your marketplace. Once the app is installed, go back to your security settings and change your unknown sources back to disabled. You now finished installing your Bluetooth LED light strip.